Dear ones, begin by making yourselves very, very comfortable. It is important to remember that these meditations have been created to help you re-educate your subconscious mind. They have been created as an aid that allows you to develop coping skills that will help you heal from narcissistic abuse. Please do not listen to these meditations while driving or operating any type of machinery. They are to be used in the comfort of your own home for the purpose of deeper healing. Please begin by taking three deep breaths and then exhale through your mouth. Please inhale through your nose and exhale slowly and gently through the mouth. One more breath in through the nose and then gently out through the mouth. Bring your awareness into the bottoms of your feet as we begin to learn how to pull our focus in the direction we wish. Bring your awareness into the bottoms of your feet. Feel the bottoms of your feet. Notice, become mindful of any tingling or pressure or simple awareness of the bottoms of your feet. Bring your awareness up through your ankles and your calves. Feel your calves. Notice the ability the divine mind has to focus where it wishes and is directed. Bring your awareness into the backs of your legs. Feel the bed or the chair beneath you. Notice how your mind has the ability to go from focusing on your feet to the backs of your legs. Notice the control your mind has when you slip into the driver's seat of your point of focus. Bring your awareness into your lower back, your bottom. Feel the pressure of the chair against your bottom. Become very mindful of the nerve endings in your skin that are experiencing the pressure against the chair or the bed. Bring your awareness up through your back. Focus completely on the way your skin feels 
as your awareness notices the way your skin feels as you become aware of the bed beneath you. Bring your awareness into your shoulders. Feel your shoulders. Feel your shoulders. Bring your awareness into the back of your head. Feel your head. Feel the back of your skull on the bed. Notice the way your head feels against the bed. If you're sitting, notice the heaviness you feel as you pull your attention into focusing on the area of your head. Bring your awareness into the top of your head. Feel the top of your head. Feel your skull. Become aware of the nerve endings in your skull, in the skin that encapsulates your skull. Feel your face. Ask your brain to relax the muscles around your eyes. Feel how your brain listens to your command. Feel how joyous the body feels as it responds to your conscious direction. Every cell in your body is at your command. Every cell in your body is at your command. Every cell in your body is at your command. Relax the muscles around your mouth and notice how willing the body is to please you, the captain, the director, the master. Dear ones, healing is about learning to become the director of our own lives. Healing from narcissistic abuse is about understanding and re-educating ourselves about our trauma and about the perceptions we have stored in our subconscious minds about our worth, our validity, and about ourselves. The ultimate truth sets each one of us free. At the moment of our conception, we qualified, we were enough. At the moment of our conception, when two became one, the male sperm, the female egg, became one being. 
when two entirely different selves miraculously merged and became one organism, you, me, we were enough. The ultimate truth has been clouded over by childhood programming, by dysfunctional families of origin, by alcoholism, by drug addiction, domestic violence, verbal abuse, emotional abuse, sexual abuse, sibling abuse, incest, foster care, poor adoptions, racism, some forms of religion, some societal concepts, mass marketing, mass advertising, music industries, entertainment industries, magazine ads, school institutions, corporations, and alike. The truth is difficult to see and nearly impossible to remember when you have been an innocent child born into a dysfunctional family littered with dysfunction, abuse by commission, as well as omission. When you have been born into a family whose authority is narcissistic, whose authority is codependent, addicted, self-absorbed, advantageous, withholding, cruel, sadistic, mentally ill, it is easy to forget you are a miracle incarnate. When you have been a child who has been raised by a narcissist, you grow up feeling invisible. You seek validation from outside the self. You beg to be seen You don't feel real because your existence has never been validated. Our existence was supposed to be validated by the authorities in our life. 
those who were entrusted with our divine bodies and minds were supposed to nurture us and help us feel valid. But when you were born to a narcissistic mother or a narcissistic father, or when you are adopted into a family of narcissists, or if you were fostered into families of narcissists or abusers, it is impossible to remember the truth that you are enough. When you are exposed to narcissists that you love, when you are a child, you are unaware that your love is a given. or that love should have been given. Love is withheld. Love is not given. And no matter how much love you flow and you give, it is never returned. When love consistently is not returned, children feel cold and separate from others. We feel disconnected from others. We feel abandoned, rejected, unworthy, invalid. And no matter how hard we try to flow more love, love simply never returns. As adults, we are caught in the pattern of the narcissistically abused child. We are caught in a cycle of believing we need love to validate who we are. We have forgotten that we are love and we are stuck in a dream, a nightmare that has us believing that love is out there and out there is the only place that we can receive love. As adults, we attract energy beings who treat us similarly to the narcissists of our past. We are unaware, we are seeking that lost opportunity to finally bond with the people we loved so much. Healing requires re-education. 
healing requires that our brains reorganize the data and the information that is stored in the subconscious mind. Healing from narcissistic abuse requires that we remember our truth. And even though narcissists reject us, blame us, talk poorly about us, insist we are wrong, try to annihilate us, speak poorly to our children about us, even though they create groups of family and friends and acquaintances. for the purpose of speaking poorly about us. Even though narcissists exist with masks and the people we know who know them don't know this, even though a narcissist can be cruel, intentionally hurtful, intentionally cruel. Even though narcissists can be seductive, appear harmless to others, we know the truth. Healing will require us to develop new muscles, new psychological muscles, new neural associations. Healing from narcissistic abuse is an opportunity to be set emotionally free. Healing from narcissistic abuse gives us an opportunity to face our codependency, our co-dependent dysfunctional beliefs that we need other people to see what we see, to validate what we feel. Healing gives us an opportunity to heal the codependency in us that keeps us stuck. Healing from narcissistic abuse requires us to validate our own reality of others. It requires that we learn to honor how we feel. To avoid seeking other people's permission to feel what we feel.
Dear one, it is time to remember your truth. It is time to see the big picture. If you have been abused by a narcissist as a child, you still may be seeking resolution as an adult. You may be seeking a bond or acceptance with a similar energy being today. Narcissists are incapable of having authentic empathy for others. Seeking their validation and empathy is dysfunctional. We can never, ever delude ourselves into thinking or believing that a true narcissist has the ability or the desire to see others. It is time to remember you are enough. As you move forward, you will need to remember often that your experiences matter. Ask yourself often, how do I feel? How do I feel? It is crucial to begin connecting to the sensory body because so many of us have dissociated from our own emotional bodies and have been extremely tuned into the emotional bodies of others. It is time to re-educate, to increase our own psychological competence, to honor and find the self, to develop compassion and empathy for the self, to pull love into the self. Remember to use the ability to focus your attention on anything you wish to help you heal and recover. Each of us has the ability to take our focus off of what others think and place that focus on what we think. Use this masterful skill well. You are enough. You are enough. Everyone is 
enough. I'm going to count from one to five. You can choose to stay in a deep, relaxed state, or you may choose to awaken. One, wiggle your toes. Two, wiggle your fingers, becoming more alert now. Three, take a deep, cleansing breath in through your nose. Four, exhale, becoming aware of the sounds in your room. Five, open your eyes, dear one. Namaste.